go ahead and get started now. Uh, once again, thank you for joining us today. Again, I'm Frank from Guten. I'm really excited about today's presentation and get to talk to Cooper Harris, the CEO of Clickly, about an issue just about everyone with the business has, which is getting more of a return from your paid advertising. So uh, Cooper, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, definitely, Frank. I'm excited to be here and uh, chat with everybody. So Cooper has a very interesting backstory. Uh, originally a successful actress, she starred in theater and some of the biggest soap operas on television uh, that made quite pivot into the tech and entrepreneurial world. Uh, amongst the host <laughs> of <laughs> she was nominated for Google's Young Innovator Award and eventually became one of the first women to win the Los Angeles Hackathon. Uh, and now as CEO and founder of Clickly, uh, Clickly, um, an amazing company, uh, recently listed as one of built in LA's top companies to watch in 2017. Uh, Cooper, we're thrilled to have you share your expertise with us today. So, uh, with Thank that, you I so much. Pass over the link. Yeah, I super appreciate it. Yeah, I'll let you get started with today's presentation. Yeah, definitely. Thanks, Frank. Appreciate that. Uh, very. <laughs> kind intro um those things are true but uh you know i, I uh i'm lucky lucky to, to have those uh accolades i suppose um frankly i uh, just by way of a little explanation for those listening uh, i did come out of entertainment uh, my first company was actually in uh, branded digital content so it was all around making content that appeals to millennials uh, and we sold that content to really big uh old school companies like kimberly clark and now um, on my second company here called Clickly, um, we really work with brands, e all e-commerce brands, to help them grow their advertising uh, effectiveness and make sure that the money you are spending is actually going to sales. Um, and we'll get into more of that later. But, um, but yeah, let me just give you a quick background on like why I started this company specifically. And it's, it's really important to me and it might resonate with you guys. Um, I have a lot of friends who probably like you are these fantastic entrepreneurs with awesome vision and really cool shops. Um, and like I buy, I buy and want to buy stuff from them. But what I noticed across all of them was this, um, this tendency or this trend where they would put a lot of money into advertising, be it somewhat Facebook, you know, AdWords, and then they try to get the open web and figure out how to do, you know, the 25 million sites on Google. And they would just be spending huge amounts of money and not always seeing like actual results. And it struck me, having not come out of advertising, I'm a technologist, it struck me as weird. I was like, how are there platforms out there that promise advertising and sales and yet they don't stick by it. And, and we all know why that is. We're used to it. It's a typical model. But what I was excited to explore was, can I create a platform where um, if my friends come to me for advertising, I only charge them if it's actually working. Um, and so we'll get into kind of the three tips um, that I recommend for when you're trying to really lock in that return on ad spend and just make sure that that's always going to be positive. Um, I'll get into those later. But just as a high level, that's um, that's actually why I started the company. So, thanks, Frank. Yeah, it's a, it's been a fun ride. Let me um let me dive right in then. You'll see here, um, kind of our, our thesis here, and it kind of echoes why I started the company. But a lot of brands out there might be wasting money, frankly, on a lot of clicks and impressions that actually don't lead to sales, right? And maybe they do, maybe they don't. Kind of hard to tell. Um, but if you aren't actually seeing sales from your advertising, it's, it's really tough, especially as a really, you know, digital first, smart e-commerce marketer. It's sometimes hard to justify. Um, we did a, this is a side note. We did a massive, um, interview series with hundreds of brands and all of them would say things like, well, I spend a lot on, you know, on the ads, but I see impressions. I don't see clicks and I don't necessarily see sales. And that became a kind of, um, you know, universal cry for help I guess in a way but but we we think there are three things you could do to fix this and so so big call out here I um I am super biased because I'm so passionate about this space and about our product so forgive me if I ever seem salesy on the clickly side of things but um I'm trying to get just a um an overview of what we do within the context of teaching folks what I really think are the key things the three key things to think about when you're trying new um uh, locked ROI uh, marketing expertise uh, 
and, and platforms. What I mean by that is you want to look at platforms. The first thing you want to do is you only want to pay for ads that actually drive sales. Now that seems so obvious, right? But it's really hard to do with some of the platforms out there. So the more you can do this, it's pretty patently clear, the better, um, the better return you'll get. Then secondly is you want to look at advertising platforms that can guarantee that return on ad spend. It's kind of like, you know, if you load up a platform with a ton of money, they're kind of incentivized to do that. But what if they only got paid when you actually got sales? That could lock in your return on ad spend. And I'll get into more what this means later, but um, that's the second thing that you should look for. And the third thing is kind of obvious, and I'm sure you all do this anyway, but it's really about testing your ad creative for efficacy and efficiency. So are you using the most cutting edge tech, the um, the most proven um, layouts, the most proven templates for your ads? And there's some things that I can show you later um, that, that will help you do that. So those are the three things I wanna focus on today. To kind of kick us off, um, I'm gonna go over to the first slide here and everything you're gonna to see today, and I'll try to be super unbiased, but it is a little bit through the lens of quickly because this is what we like live to do. Um, but the first thing we wanna focus in on is only paying for ads that actually drive sales. What I mean by that is you, you don't wanna be paying, and this is kind of obvious, but like you don't wanna be paying for ads that aren't actually driving sales. This seems very clear, but what we've done is created what we call a pure performance advertising platform. So what that means is you aren't going to pay on views. You aren't going to pay on clicks. You are only going to pay when we're actually driving sales. Um, we have a really cool partnership with Shopify. Actually, one of their execs is on our advisory board. So we absolutely love Shopify as a side note. Um, so that, that does um, make it easier for those of you who are built on the platform. And then we have other solutions for those who aren't as well. Um, but yeah, so so the key here is you only want to pay for ads that are actually driving you sales. And then what that might look like is this. We enable you to launch your product um, and your ads on 25 million top sites with zero upfront spend. And that's because you're only gonna be paying when we're driving sales. So those old models where you put a bunch of money in upfront and then you kind of wait to see what happens, we don't like that, we think that's a little unfair. And so the key here is we're going to let you kind of very, very, in a very streamlined, quick way, um, load up your ads, your products, and push them out in about five, 10 minutes across 25 million top sites. So what you'll see over here are just kind of the bullet points that we think you should be um, looking for in a platform, if not quickly, that does this. So you want access to premium sites. You don't want this platform to be sending you to like, I don't know, the really sketchy, weird sites that are never going to have real people and only bots. No, no, no. We get you on Cosmo, Vogue, Incel, Harper's Bazaar, Men's Fitness, whatever that is, and the, the sites that are most fitted to your brand. That's the only way that we'll get you sales, and we only make money when we get you sales, so we're really incentivized to work with you. And then just to wrap this up real quickly, Frank, did you have a question? Yeah, that's really interesting. Yeah. Um, just a quick question. Um, so do you need to already be set up on AdWords and link that to uh, Clickly or can you no. do this entirely through Clickly? You do this entirely through Clickly in about five to ten minutes. And I'll show you how that works in about two slides. But it's a, the whole point is that we want it to be really streamlined, really seamless and totally risk free so that you're not maybe spending huge amount of money on things you don't know that will actually work for you. And then the key other part is like we want it to be automated. So, you know, I mean, all of the listeners here will know Guten and know how awesome and automated you guys are, right? You make the whole drop shipping, print on demand process beautifully streamlined and seamless. And it's upscale, which is nice. It doesn't look like the sketchy drop shippers of old. That, that's kind of what we want to do on the whole marketing side. So, and again, I'm, I'm kind of jumping the gun because I actually get to this later. But the whole point about Clickly is if you load this up, it should be the most streamlined, instantaneous, quick thing that you do. It's literally five to 10 minutes. We auto generate the creative for you. So you don't have to spend a ton on, um, on putting together an ad or a photo shoot or whatever. And then you load it up. And because we only charge on sales, it just automatically goes. So three out of four of our brands will load up their entire catalog, push launch, and then just let it run. Because, of course, the, the backside is we auto-adjust. We have a lot of machine learning in there. So we'll auto-adjust to what's working, what's not. And guess what? If it's not working, well, the brands don't pay for it. They just get free views <laughs> and free free impressions. So, yeah. Well, that's, I know um, uh, I hear, like, 
from a lot of store owners that with AdWords and even a little bit with Facebook uh, advertising, it's just so confusing to get set up and you're not exactly sure, you know, um, all the features, uh, settings and algorithms that you're supposed to be <laughs> trying to, uh, you know, market towards. Um, so it seems like yeah. Yeah, it's very simple with Clickly just to get, just to get going. That's that's a really interesting point, Frank, because if you look at the business model, though, they have an incentive to confuse people <laughs> because the more confused their brands are or their clients and their customers, the the more chance for optimizing there is. And then maybe, you know, they're like, well, the brands didn't do it right. It's super confusing. You missed this thing. You missed this thing. Oh, well, you should have done this. It's like, well, that's so insanely unfair. <laughs> like make a streamlined, beautiful, very simplistic platform that is transparent and that the consumer or the customer in this case can use easily, right? Anyway, that's my own personal philosophy. But um, but anyway, um, and to, to that kind of transparency as the second bullet point here, you'll notice we don't charge any setup fees, any monthly fees, no weird hidden fees, like nothing at all. The brand has complete control over how they pay, which I think is important. And then another key um, kind of value add from using our, um, our tool is that you will build your audience because we actually have um, access to a ton of what we call inventory, but ad space out there that you know, and I say smaller brands, but, but brands that aren't like Fortune 500s, right? Normal e-commerce brands would never have access to because the platforms that own that really high-end premium site space on those websites out there, like on ESPN or Vogue, it costs, you can't access it unless you hit minimums of ad spend of like two to three to four million dollars a month. And some brands can do that, but most don't necessarily want to do that in display, right? So anyway, that's um. So we have access to pretty premium inventory as well because you know we have what seven eight hundred um, customers now on Clickly, right? So buying across you know hundreds of companies is a lot different. So here's where I move from. Obviously, you want to. Um, pay for ads only that get you sales and you want kind of that nice big wide distribution. Here's where I move on to focusing a little bit about um, really guaranteeing and locking in those results. So here on the left hand side, you're gonna see that we actually don't need creatives from the brands. And the reason is that we feel like a lot of times you, you have to, I don't know, you spend a lot of money on creating the newest ads, you know, put, doing the photo shoots, putting it all together and that's beautiful, but and that's important, imp very important stuff. What we do for you is make it really seamless and super quick. So we actually auto-generate what are called PLA ads for the brands from your existing assets. And we pull those assets in from your product catalog in about you know, 10 milliseconds. So it's a very streamlined process and just makes things easier. Um, the second main feature, of course, is that you're paying, kind of think of it as paying on commission in a way. Um, instead of paying an ad spend and a marketing budget up front, you're gonna pay it on the back at a, um, a margin you're comfortable with that you set and only when we're actually driving sales. So the whole point here is that brands, like my friends that I talked about at the beginning of the, of the show, um, that, that you guys can really grow risk-free um, and not worry about like constantly checking your advertising platform. Like what's my return on spend? Is it doing okay? Is it not doing okay? That kind of thing. And then um, real time metrics. So this is kind of important too for the brands that are really busy out there. So if you're really busy and you feel like you've got a ton going on and you want to cut down on the time you spend on this stuff, this is what will appeal to you because our algorithm, it auto adjusts campaigns in real time to optimize for purchases and somewhat engagements, but mainly for purchases. And obviously we do that not just because that's what you want. We do that because we only make money if you're getting sales. So it's in our best interest to do it. And then, I mean, I guess that makes sense, um, right? It's it's kind of a, we're, we're a win-win. We're on the same team with the brand. Yeah, right. we have the same, yeah, the same philosophy with, with us as well. That's why yeah, yeah. Yeah. So keep costs low, no monthly fees, no subscription fees, because exactly. we can make it as easy as possible for people to just come on board and get to be successful. Uh, because, yeah, like you said, uh, if they're not successful, you're not successful. So it's in everyone's interest to help each other. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And, um, and then just this, this on the right hand side, if you look at step one, connect, step two, select, step three, launch, it really is that simple. It takes most brands between five and 10 minutes to set up and get live on 25 million top sites with zero upfront spend. 
So that that's really our value prop here. You connect, um, if you're on Shopify, obviously a super easy click of a button. You select the products you want to advertise, completely up to you. We pull them in from, um, from your backend. And then you set the commission you wanna pay and launch. So it's a um, it's it's really different. You figure out what you want your return on ad spend to be, and then you basically set it to whatever you're comfortable with. And guess what? You can change it at any time. We don't require you to lock anything in. And then I'll explain this a little bit more and how you actually want to think about that. But then the end thing is literally you sit back and relax because we do the work for you because we're optimizing your campaign at every time. Um, and Frank, if you if you feel like that was really clear, if you don't have any questions, then I'll just dive straight into kind of how you set up the campaign itself. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's great. You can just keep on going. Perfect. So we're really um, bullish about this idea that we want to empower each individual brand as an individual and unique company. Every single brand is going to have different margins that they're comfortable with, right? And so we kind of reflect that when we get brands um, into the sign-up process. Again, this takes maybe five to ten minutes total for the entire setup. Uh, the first step here is you choose what type of campaign you want to launch. You can choose your entire catalog, which is what most people do, and then they untick maybe two, three things. Uh, you can choose your best sellers or specific categories and products. As a second step, if you jump way over here to the far right hand side, you'll see these little um, items with green check boxes beside them. Those are your products and you'll choose what you want to advertise and what you don't. So you can just check or uncheck them, super obvious, super simple. Um, and then this big middle pane, the panel in the, um, in the slide that you'll see. This is where, it's that third step before you launch. It's where you choose your commission. So uh, this is kind of a new idea for some people, but I'll help explain it. So let's just say you really need a three to one return from your advertising, which is pretty solid, right? Maybe you want even four to one return, so you're getting aggressive, which is great. We want that, right? If you want and need a four to one return on your advertising, meaning for every dollar you spend, you expect and have to get back $4, right? It's that four to one ratio. Then you come in quickly and you set it at 25%. What that means is as we're pushing out your, um, your products and they're being bought, you will only ever spend $1 for every $4 that we are bringing in. So just a nice way of locking it in. Now there are brands who get real clever and cute and they're like, well, we're going to give you 2%. Well, the issue there is you're basically asking for like a 30x return for every dollar you spend. You want to make 30, 40, 50. That's super unrealistic in an advertising scenario. But but more than anything, you're welcome to do it. If you set that thing down at 2%, there's a little slider and it's a button that you can pull down as low as or as high as you like. The issue is that this thing over here on the right hand side, you see the priority. Basically, this is a little box called campaign priority, and it shows you where you rank in our algorithm compared to the other stores. And I think maybe you see where I'm going with this. But as, as a brand, if you know, if you're a smaller brand, let's say here's a scenario, and I'm not saying anyone there is, but if you're a smaller brand and you give us 2%, then we analyze, you know, the amount of data we have to go off of to be like, oh, here's these person, um, this brand's consumers. It's just not a lot for us to kind of infer and there's not a lot of incentive there. So it's really hard for us to then justify promoting the product a lot. And it's also hard for us if there's not much data to know who to go after. On the other end of the spectrum, in a different scenario, let's say you're a brand that, I don't know, sells like a huge brand. I don't know, you're selling like a thousand things a day. Um, let's say that that brand gives us a maybe 25% commission. Obviously, they're going to have a huge priority. But even if that brand goes down, let's say to even 15%, 10%, whatever, right? So they're getting these massive returns on their spend. They still might get prioritized in our algorithm because we have so much more data around them, meaning we can see who's coming to your site, who's actually buying, and then we can model off. We have a lot of machine learning. So that machine can model off, oh, here's consumers who look like and have the same behavior as the folks who are coming to this site, and they match the data points. Anyway, Frank, you give me you give me insight on if I'm getting too techy and jargony here, but, um, but it's yeah. a kind of sophisticated concept, but when you think about it, it actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I always explain it. The robots figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, that sounds, yeah, that sounds really uh, amazing. So um, I do have one question from uh, one of the attendees. Um, and 
Thank you everyone um, for submitting those. Looks like we're getting um, some more rolling through. Uh, so thank everyone for that. Um, but someone wondered, and here's a scenario, if I make a new customer sale through Clickly mm -hmm. and customer returns later organically, not through a Clickly ad, do I pay commission on those later orders as well? We have we have two different types of advertising set up. And just as a first kind of fun fact, we do let you put in like whatever commission you want. And we separately let you put in under this advanced setting, you can see, we let you put in a new customer um, commission. It's kind of a, think about it as your lead, your cost of acquisition, right? Mm -hmm. So you can choose whether to do a general commission or just a commission on new customers, right? So first of all, that'll be something you want to play with. Um, for people who want mostly new customers, you want to set a low, low commission or low wear commission, and then you want to put a much higher cost per lead. An example of that, just to give you a sense, there's this fantastic, really famous um, flower company here in Venice, California, and their customer acquisition is $75. Their, their actual purchase price is only 40 but they know what their customer acquisition cost is and the lifetime value. <coughs> so that's a situation where the commission is going to be very, very low, if not like literally 1% or something or mm -hmm. zero. But their customer acquisition cost, they know is $75, so they'll peg it there. So that's kind of maybe a scenario that they have in mind, and we're totally willing to work with brands on that. You literally just load those numbers up in the system, and it will show you where you rank according to other merchants. Um, to answer the other kind of part of your question, we do retargeting as well as prospecting prospecting, meaning this is a full service kind of plug and play thing. We are going to, if some, if some, here's an example, if some consumer shows a lot of intent and is like looking at four shirts and then they spend the most time on the blue shirt, we see that. And then if they put the blue shirt in your cart and then they leave, we're like, no, 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 no. You get back here and you buy this, right? So we go target the heck out of them and drive them back because they are the easiest to convert and the most important for you. If you lose them, that's it just ups your customer acquisition cost. So we do that. So okay. that's that maybe returning customer instance, but we also do lookalikes and what's called prospecting, which is all those new customers. And right now the stats are about half and half. Of course, you can change those again, as I said earlier, by lowering your commission and putting in a um, new customer um, lead cost. Perfect. Okay. Yep. Really? Yep. Really good question. So that's kind of how the setup works. And again, once you guys get in, um, if you want to play around with it, you can. Um, so this is uh, this next slide, which I just missed. So this is just like an ad um, example of what our ads look like and how they can function. And I want to show you because this is a third point that I was talking about in the beginning, which you want to make sure that you're using the most effective, cost effective ads and ones that use the most cutting edge technology. So this I've kind of saved to like be the, the twist at the end, the icing on the cake. It's kind of um kind of a fun fact that I've saved till last. But our ads serve a dual purpose. They're normal. They send people back to your site like you're used to. But they also enable the consumer to buy directly in the ad. So that sounds crazy. And you guys are, I'm sure, all like, what the heck does that mean? Therefore, I have a little video here um, to show you what that looks like. So, and the reason we do that is because every consumer you meet is going to either want to buy in a normal, considered way on your site, or they might want to do an impulse purchase. So we want to enable them to purchase, excuse me, directly in the ad. So I'm going to show you an example. Look over here on the right. You can click the product you want, scroll through the various photos of it and then scroll down, read the description, and buy it in the actual um, ad itself. So we feel like, and, and again, keeping in mind, the consumer can still choose to go back to your site or they can choose to um, buy here. So by allowing both of those actions, we actually have a lot higher conversion rates, which is, by the way, partly why we're able to actually do this crazy, crazy model where we only make money when we get you sales. Yeah. So that's when I was doing um, research on Clickly, this was really the part that blew my mind. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, just setting up campaigns, it's like you um, you want them to click on the ad, then they go to a landing page. Oftentimes, you have to create an account, and there are just mm -hmm. all these parts where you know you're looking at the data and you're just crying because you're seeing like points that they're just dropping off yeah. before they can get to you know the cart. Um, so uh, the fact that it's in 
uh, the ad itself, to me, uh, the data I'm just sure is just so much cleaner and the, um, the conversion rate I'm sure is uh, just way better in comparison. Yeah, exactly. And again, just to reiterate, we don't force people to buy in the ad because that would also create drop off because there are people who want to go to your store and do a considered purchase. But there's also this huge new um, kind of demographic of people who, especially on the phone, just want to buy impulsively and we want to allow them to do whatever, whatever will get you the most purchases, basically. All right, great. Cool. So let me... um jump into the last slide here and we we have a bunch of different testimonials and you can see them all on our site if you like but um we do have some incredible customers that we love and adore um who we've grown their um we've grown and are responsible for now about five to ten percent of their revenue which for some of these stores that are doing you know a million dollars a month that's a it's a nice big uplift for them so it can be very meaningful um so yeah and if you're interested you know feel free to um to check out the site or email Taylor. Taylor is my best uh, growth specialist on the team. And um, I, to I told Frank this earlier, but we think Guten's just so cool. And I have this like maybe very like uh, awesome idea where, where a brand could potentially automate all their marketing and all their selling and drop shipping <laughs> through Guten and Clickly. I'm like, could, could it be possible that they automate all the annoying stuff and then just build a beautiful brand that, that in my mind is something cool. So I wanted to develop um, just a cool um, little uh, promo for, for the Guten brands, which would be, we typically and currently are invite only. And so we kind of give this, uh, this little link out only to brands that we like and that we vet. So most brands have to wait in line once they've signed up on our site and we accept them one by one. We have actually a manual team that goes through and looks at the brand and all their stuff and make sure that it's a fit. However, for Guten, because we think you guys are great, uh, we're going to bump you. Anyone who wants to sign up gets bumped up automatically to the front of the line. So you can do it in real time, either by jumping on brands at clickly.com or emailing Taylor and letting us know you came from Guten. So I think that's everything I had to share. Uh, Frank, definitely chime in if you feel like you have questions or maybe there's gaps that you want me to fill out for you. Um. Sounds great. Um, let me just pick while well, we have uh, just a couple minutes. Uh, some of the questions yeah. that um, someone wondered: uh, Does Quickly only work with product-based merchants, or do you work with service-based based clients as well? This person oh is my a gosh. wedding. It's such a good question. What do they do? Uh, so this person is a wedding coordinator and says they would love to use your platform. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. I want to work with them too. The only issue is we don't currently because, well, actually that's not true. It depends on if they're built into the Shopify platform somehow with their wedding coordination services, then we could, but we're really best suited for actually serving up physical goods and helping people sell physical goods. Gotcha. Okay, perfect. Um, and then um, another question, can we have these ads linked to a funnel page instead of directly to our Shopify store? Is that funnel page built into their setup for their store? And if yeah. so, yeah. Okay, yeah. All right, perfect. Um, okay, great. We actually got <laughs> quite a few uh, questions that came in uh, today. It looks like a lot of people are excited. Um, a lot of comments that just say mind blown and <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> um, <laughs> some really good feedback. Um, so, uh, Cooper, I might just forward you uh, the list of these questions from people. And if sure. you want to follow up and email them yeah. uh, after the call, um, I think that'd be great. Thank you so much, uh, people, for being so engaged and uh, sending, sending those questions to us. Uh, Cooper, thank you so much uh, for um, doing this for us. We'll, we'll have to, it seems like we got a great response. We should. Try this again sometime and uh, talk yeah. some more. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right, great. So, yeah, everyone, uh, keep an eye out for uh, Cooper's email. It'd uh, be great for you to take advantage of um, her offer and uh, get your foot in the door with Clickly. Um, but definitely uh, a platform on the rise. So, um, hopefully, uh, they're able to connect with you, Cooper, and you can help them out. So, yep, definitely plan on it. It was a pleasure. Thanks so much, guys. All right, great. Thanks a lot, Cooper. Thank you, everyone, for attending, and uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Thank you. Bye-bye.